Let's run it back with the 1991 Air 180. Welcome back to the channel, and if you haven't already, why don't you hit that subscribe button. Originally released in 1991, the Nike Air 180, in my opinion, the greatest running shoe ever created, was designed by Tinker Hatfield and Bruce Kilgore. Two brilliant design minds merged together to create one of the greatest uh, Nike models of all time. If you look back into my older videos, you will see that I did a feature on the Air 180. You could watch that one to learn about the history and the design specs on the Air 180. Today we're talking about the 2024 Retro that's coming out and I am ecstatic. If you watched my top 15 shoes that I hope would come back in 2023, the Air 180 was number two on my list. Number one, still hoping for the Air Raid 2, but number two on my list was the Air 180 Ultra Marine. And it looks like in 2024, we are going to get the recrafted, which I've been begging Nike to do, the recrafted version of the Nike Air 180. As they're going to give us the original big Nike Air bag instead of this little one. Hopefully we get that one piece cover that covered the original big Air bag instead of two pieces. Because on the retros, it's the Air bag and then there's a glued sole on the bottom. But on the original, it was like an encapsulated, the airbag was inside like a, like a cup almost. If you look at the design specs here, you could see that the uh, design was different on the original than on the retro. This uh, one in my hand is 2013 retro that came out in the vintage style uh, pack, which, you know what, it, it, was, it did the trick. It has an okay shape, but it just doesn't have that big airbag and that... If you were born in 1990 or you lived through the 90s and you had a pair of the original Air 180s, you could see the difference. This big airbag just, it changes the whole design of the shoe, the shape of the shoe. So I'm very happy to see the Air 180 come back in its original form. And looking at the, the early photos and the early videos that Nike has uh, secretly showed us, I am quite happy with this release. There's one thing I am begging, begging Nike to do is bring back the original box that the original Air 180 came in with the pamphlet that has the poster that shows us all the information on how the air technology in the Air 180 is going to help us in our running. And I am quite happy with the early photos of the Air 180. If you look at the early photos compared to the original in 1991 and compared to the one in my hand, you can see that the shape is more on point with the retro coming out in 2024 than it ever has been in years past. You can see that the, the slope of the shoe is more streamlined. Uh, the, the shoe design looks closely like the original than the retros do. And I'm quite happy with how they have put this shoe together. And it looks like the design team at Nike are also on the same page that I am is that we want the original shape. If you listen to the Nike head of uh, running design on the uh, retro project, you could see that he is on the same page as me and he took a model from the archives, scanned it so we could get a closer copy of the original uh, given to us fans of the Air 180. Here at Nike and I worked on the Nike Air 180. So this is actually the first time that we've brought this shoe back in its true OG form uh, with the OG air bubble. Um, OG proportions and shape and OG construction. That's why it's called the Air 180, not the Air Max 180. We're keeping it as true to the OG as possible. I know this probably won't happen, but I hope there's some apparel that goes along with the Air 180 release in 2024. Because I would like a new t-shirt of the Ralph Steedman art project. A running bunny a advert. This one was originally in the pamphlet of all the artists around the world that promoted the product in the worldwide launch back in 1991. I would really like a Nike International tee with that logo right across the front, a Nike International tee in those colorways. Speaking of the new colorways of the Air 18, I am not mad at the new colorway that they're bringing out, that black. And I honestly, I thought of this colorway back in the early 2000s as I took a scan of the Ralph Steedman painting and I... I don't know what it's called on the computer, but I think it's called inverted. I inverted the colors and the Air 180 shoe on the picture 
reversed all the colors to black and that teal color. And I've got a print here that I printed off a long time ago that I was gonna put on a t-shirt and never got a chance to do it, but it has the reverse color and it the shoes look identical to the one that Nike is bringing out this year in 2024. And I think it looks great. I'm not a big fan of the 180 in a black colorway as I had the black and red one in the early 2000s, but I always think that the Air 180 looks best in white. Hopefully we get a bunch of the original colorways from 1990, like the woman's lime colorway, the purple orange, the Olympic color. There is a bunch of Air 180 Nike running models that they could bring back in the 2024 pack. Now, what do you guys all think about the retro coming out in 2024 on the Air 180? Are you guys ex as ecstatic as I am? Because hopefully this is a model that Nike sees that we all love and they will eventually bring out the most coveted Air 180 ever and bring us this model, the Air Force 180 pump worn by David Robinson in 1991. I know, and you could take my word for it, that the Air Force 180 mid worn by Charles Barkley is coming back in its original form with the original airbag, the big airbag, and hopefully that model as well comes in the original Nike 180 packaging with some pamphlets and some information on the Air 180 technology. And so that's the end of my video today. Let me know what you guys think about my channel. And uh, I'd like to thank everyone who has been coming to see my channel every week. I enjoy running it back for you. Some of the shoes from the early 90s and late 80s that I enjoy. And uh, we'll keep it going. I'll keep going until someone tells me to stop. So, uh, Let's see Nike bring the original Air 180 back with the original box. And until next time, peace.